I'm David. Uh, I'm Tommy Haber. I'm Jason Rush. And we're Marky Matt. So uh, we got our we got started when we were thinking about the different possibilities that uh, could be mixed with peanut butter. And one of them uh, was uh, chocolate, like white chocolate. And so we came up with this, and we thought it was really good and uh, well tasty. So uh, later that week, we were gonna we were having a party, and we set it out as a dip, and the whole thing was gone. So what we decided we were going to do is we were going to try and, well, sell it at the local farmer's market. And within a week we were sold out. And after that we decided to pour monkey nut and go into local stores. A product has many uses. It can be used as a dip for anything, as a spread, as a coating, and a dessert topping. Uh, for the coating we think is the most unique because unlike normal peanut butter, if you dip something in this, you put it in the refrigerator and it'll solidify and make kind of like a crunchy shell for it, so you can make things like the strawberries up there. You can use it like classic peanut butter and just spread it on toast, or you can dip like pretzels or anything into it. Um, we want to have a partnership with you, Jif, because we believe that if we use your name in our product, we would be able to come not only more widespread, but we would be able to uh, rapidly increase our revenue because the peanut butter we use is um, your recipe. Uh, we believe it would be a very beneficial partnership for you and for us because it would help you to expand your product line and also attract uh, a larger uh, market, uh, tap into a new market of people that you are currently reaching and increase your annual revenues. We suggest pricing at the store to be $3.99 for a um, 12 ounce jar, like the one shown here, or $5.99 for an 18 ounce jar. Um, if you were to accept our partnership, you would make 50% of all the revenue we generate. Um, per 12 ounce jar, we make $2.08 of revenue, and $3.12 per 18 ounce jar. So, that's most of that. Any questions? Click back to that last slide for me, please, David. So, what you're what you're really looking to do is lease the GIF name, or right? In a way, yes. Yeah. You want our name for instant brand recognition mm -hmm. and exception market wide, and in return for us giving you that, you're going to share half of the. Revenue or half of the profits? Half, half of the profits. Half of the profits. Okay. So you'd be making a dollar for every 12 ounce and a buck 50 for every 18 ounce. Okay. And we don't have to do anything other than give you, you give access us the and name rights to your name. And the peanut butter. Yeah. yeah. We will make it, sell it, ship it. We do all that. We just need your name and the ingredients. And in fact, we could probably inflate the profits if we're using your peanut butter if you give us a contract that is favorable. What would that consist of? Well, I mean, we could probably push the price down some if we're buying peanuts in a greater quantity, you know, from you directly. Okay. You mentioned that you're pretty sure uh, this could increase our revenue sales. Mm -hmm. Based off of your experience selling so far, how much do you think that we're talking about in the course of a year? National as well. Let's start locally, wherever you kind of you think it would be good to test. Well, in the local in the local markets that we had, we started off with about 500 units overall in the town, and we sold them all in about a month. So that's basically what you're looking at. Probably do, and those are 12 ounce jars. So that'd be 250 to you and 250 to us in the local community. Okay. How do how do we know that you guys will maintain the same consistency and high standard and quality that the Jif name has promised to customers for decades? Um, that is going to be one of the most important things, and in order to take 
to have our name on something, but we've got to have that guarantee. How can you guarantee us that? As part of, oh, okay. well, as part of the contract, we could have it set so that we follow all Jeff's standards of quality, and if we fall below that, the contract could be terminated. And that would be judged on uh, how you view our quality of the product. I would agree to this if you would do 70%. 70%. We can do 70%. Okay, that's a deal. All right, thanks guys. Good job.